So that's the joke, товарищи. And I come doing this video for you guys with a very heavy heart right now, and this is probably going to be rather difficult for me to get through. So I hope you'll understand. But basically, uh, a terrible tragedy has happened to me and my family, and I'm quite shaken up about it, and they're quite shaken up about it. And as a result, I need to leave for home tomorrow because I need to be with my family and they need to be with me. And that has essentially taken everything that I've planned out for the next couple days and week or so and tossed it out the window. So basically, uh, let me tell you what's uh, been happening. Uh, basically, in terms of the website, I was ready to launch it in the next couple days or so. Uh, we had hit a snag where we couldn't integrate the forum with the main site. We couldn't make sure that they had the same template and everything. And I said, you know, yeah, I, I can't give you the exact specifics of what's wrong. I don't exactly know. I might be able to give you those at a later time. Just not right now. But basically I said, okay, you know, maybe we uh, can't get the form to look exactly like the site right now. We can still launch it. You know, we can save the forms for later and launch the basic site as it is, or we can launch the forms and the site and then integrate them when, you know, we figure out uh, how to do that. But I learned today that uh, my grandfather had died. He died uh, at age 99 and he died in his sleep. And this is the first time that I've had a major death happen to me. And I've had uh, one of my uh, family members uh, die and I'm not exactly sure how exactly to cope with it. I don't know. I've never uh, experienced you know, a, a death so close to me. And it kind of feels like I'm in some kind of void right now. And I guess I'm just having trouble f coming to grips with the reality that someone I've known uh, all my life suddenly isn't going to be there anymore and you know you, you hear about you know you watch uh, and play movies and everybody is dying all the time but it's it's a little bit different when you experience it so uh, so close to you and I'm not exactly sure um, what to do like I said he was 99 years old and I mean when you get to be 99 years old you start to kinda assume that you know <laughs> you know, the end of your life is coming around, but that doesn't make it any easier to deal with, as well as, you know, he died in his sleep, and if you're going to choose any way to go, that's probably the way to do it, and again, <laughs> but again, that doesn't make it any easier. So, like I said, I need to, uh, I, I'm leaving here tomorrow, um, I need to take some time to be with my family, and we need to, you know, get through this, uh, is uh, you know, part of our lives. And I, I can tell you a little bit about the man. Um, he was part of the British Army, um, Air Force actually, and he fought in World War II. He uh, worked on bombers and he was uh, part of uh, the bomber crews. Also, uh, apparently during the battle for Britain, or you know, the Blitz where the Germans came and bombed uh, the UK, apparently he refused to go into bomb shelters. Or, um, so, he says that uh, he refused to go down underground and, you know, cramped up with all these people and uh, all cramped up together and panicking. He always said that if, uh, you know, bomb is gonna, it has my name on it, it has my name on it, and there's, you know, nothing I can do about that. So, you know, obviously he was a tough man, and you really have to respect that part of your history that fought in the greatest conflict that mankind has ever you know, been a part of, and you know, that's uh, one of the hard parts about learning that he he died today is feeling like um, you know I've lost you know, a little bit of my ancestry and a little bit of my history, and I've lost kind of that part of uh, of my history, and it's 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 upsetting. I mean, to say the least. Um, I mean, I've tried doing this video like so many times. I keep you know screwing up or or you know not being able to get the words out. This is this is kind of difficult for me, as some of you might be able to tell. So, 
anyway, all that being said is uh, I am in no mood to do any recording. I just I can't do any any work right now. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I'm kind of like I said, wandering around in this weird void, trying to you know, figure out what exactly is going through my mind right now. So that being said, um, this is probably going to be my last video until at least after Christmas. Um, obviously, the website is going to be delayed. I'm sure you guys understand that. I'm sure you guys understand that sometimes terrible, unforeseen uh, circumstances happen, and we have to adapt to them, and we have to change, and we have to get through them. So I figured that I should let you guys know what's going on, because you know you shouldn't be in the dark about this kind of stuff. So I mean, I will have my computer with me when I go up uh, to my parents house but um, you know we're gonna need a little bit of time to you know mourn and, and get through this so I'm pretty sure you guys uh, understand you know that you know, the, sort of the gravity of this uh, current situation so I don't think there's anything more that I can say right now I just um, like I said, it's probably going to be my last video uh, till Christmas, so I'm going to wish you guys all a happy holidays. I certainly hope you enjoy your time with your family. I certainly hope you, you know, get all the presents you might want to get, and I hope that, you know, maybe you guys might send good vibes to me and my family during this, uh, during this difficult time for us. So, with uh, that being said, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys, and or Happy Holidays. And um, I'll, I'll talk to you once the, the Christmas season is over. Anyway, you guys, you guys take care.